what's up y'all my name is queen ezzy and these are my sims welcome back to another episode of the sims 4 family dynamics challenge we are here with um sydney and the twins and what they're doing right now is just having a little morning session um for jackson um because he did pass away uh and i haven't opened this game and i don't know how long but he did pass away so we came to the cemetery oh my gosh we came to the cemetery to lay him to rest to plant his flower and i also made some like updates to the cemetery too so as you guys can see i added pictures of everybody that was um buried I do still have to get pictures for um, Arhia and Briley. Bro, what are you laughing at? <laughs> anyway, I still have to get pictures for Briley and Arhia, but I do have pictures for our main four. You know, our founders and our second, um, our second generation heir and everything. And also, what's next to them is like their little rewards for reaching the top of their careers. So that I could remember which, what each one of them did. And so since Ignavia and um, Elliot were in the same field, same branch, they got the little stack of CDs. That was the um, eSports branch. Then, of course, um, Jackson was a bodybuilder. So he got the Mr. Solar System reward. And then, you know, we got our little, our little chef, um, My Sims Trophy for Ignavia. So that is that, and I'm going to have Sydney go ahead and plant the Bird of Paradise flower on her dad's grave. And I will show you Arhia and Briley's grave. So, um, Arhia, Kylan, oh my gosh, great, good for you. So Arhia um, was a mixologist. So I did find this lamp reward, um, which I sized down as small as I could to put on her grave. And then of course, Briley was our scientist. So I put a crystal on her grave. And like I said, I just have to get pictures for them. I'm gonna try to see if I can get some. Oh my gosh, I hate that when they plant these flowers that they always, they end up like not in the spot where I want them to be, but in the spot where they just randomly place them. Alright, so let's move our bird of paradise. First of all, let's, let's straighten it up. Okay, let's, let's get it straight. <laughs> and then, let's move it in, in line here. So, let's put it in line with here i was trying to get them all like in a similar line so let's bring let's bring this one back a little bit and bring this one back a little bit there we go all right so on today's agenda once they went and laid elliot to rest what's gonna happen is um Sydney has to handle the estate and like her, her parents' estate, the house and everything. So she's actually going to end up moving back to Windenburg for that. And she's leaving the responsibility of the um, house that they have now in the hands of the twins. She's going to be staying like for a week, once a month so that they are not, you know, completely on their own but she trusts them she believes that they're responsible kids and they can take care of themselves of course um jewel is gonna handle like you know all the what what is that that you're throwing away jewel is going to oh my gosh girl you you are not good at the guitar at the i mean at the violin jewel's gonna handle all the financial thing okay let me not subject your your ears to this. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I just. I just can't. I just can't do it. Hold on, y'all can't even hear this. <laughs> Something's wrong with my um. Um. Sound. 
for my desktop. Let me just make sure. There it is. Yeah, I'm not gonna subject your ears to this. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop back to um, the house after I've sorted everything. Sydney's moved out and it's just gonna be the two twins. Um, so I will see you all in a moment. All right, after like <laughs> hours, finally back and um, Sydney has officially moved in, gotten settled in Windenburg, and the twins decided that they would throw a nice little house party and invite all of their friends over and just hang out and have fun and have a good time. So, um, Jasper is getting the pizza. We have all our guests. And this took me a while because I had to give all of these teenagers makeovers and like, but I only gave them a party outfit. I was not, I was not thinking about like redoing everybody's outfit because that would have took me days. I only gave everybody party outfits. So, you know, they come over to the house again. They may be looking jacked, but I don't care. But these are everybody that's in their club with the exception of two members. So we have um, Greta, who's not in the club. She's one of the ones that's not in the club. So Greta, we have Yasmin. Yasmin. Okay, dear. Lalau. Yasmin is actually in the club. Oh, new family dynamic. It looks like Jasper and Jewel just adore spending time with each other. Such comfortable camaraderie among family members is a blessing. Family members with a close family dynamic will actively seek each other's company when nearby. Keep in better touch when living in separate households and gain additional positive moodness from spending quality time together. Would you say that the dynamic between Jasper and Jewel is close? Yeah, of course. Okay, so anyway, this is Yasmin. I loved her short haircut, so I let her keep that. Then we have um, Cordell here. We have, this is, I think this is Sade. Yeah, she's, she was the other um, friend, part of the friend group, but not in the club. And then this is Camilla Meadows. So I redid the tw those twins. So this is Camillo, and then his brother is here too. Here he is. So here's his brother. Camillo, you had your time, bro. Get out the way. <laughs> Romeo, here is Brittany. And then this young lady here is Anissa. And I think that that's ever who's, oh, oh, this is Will. And I was right next to him and didn't even introduce <laughs> introduce Shade and didn't introduce him. But yeah, this is Will. So this is everybody now. Like, I asked y'all to come to get a plate and like, girl, I know you not sleep. Get your butt up. What are you doing? It's your party and this isn't even your bed. Like... This is the room for your, um, this is a guest room for your mom when she comes to stay. So, let me just dress her, change outfit because nobody told you to go to bed. And get back downstairs. Like, what? <laughs> That's crazy. Alright, so people are partying and, what are y'all doing? Oh, oh, she's dancing. Is what she's doing and she's watching TV so we got a couple people dancing so let's just have everybody dance together let's just see if that'll work because I know it's like tight space where did your brother go no 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 and no you're gonna come downstairs yep and you're gonna dance stop trying to go to bed y'all act like y'all like are not teenagers come on now yeah, I got a party going on. Let's dance. Glad I cut off the TV. What are you doing? Okay. Actions. Get off the computer and dance with everybody else, bruh. Like, you're not excluded from this. <laughs> I, 
I don't know why you thought you were, but you're not. So let's let's dance with everybody else. And I'll stop controlling him now. Okay, they still able to 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 dance a little bit. Are y'all dancing? Okay, cool. Not a dust bunny on the floor. Like, are you serious right now? Uh, everybody's having a okay. This computer. Let me um, let me do the computer settings on here so they can stop getting on these computers. Control Sim. Stop and dance. And then we're gonna stop controlling her. And we're gonna set this computer for only the household. So let's do that. Lock computer, everybody but household. Who talking? What? Who is talking like they like right? <laughs> she dancing up in his room by herself. Girl, no, you're not doing it. I'm sorry. Somebody was like really like having a conversation, but I can't see or find who it is. Okay, let's um let's do it again. Let's do dance together. This I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I don't care that you're tired. Like I don't care at all. Get out here. <laughs> this crazy let me make sure your brother not gonna go do the same thing shoot okay yes now this is what I like to see everybody dancing having a good time doing their own thing where you going bro okay yes let's this let's, let's have fun Ooh, okay. Miss Thane earned two hundred and forty dollars on her day off. That's what's up. That's what's up. It's so <laughs> they got the house rocking and packed. Oh, she's the one over here having this conversation. All right, so let's have them know. Let's have some people come out here and play some games. So we're going to change it to, let's do cards. And we'll have him since he's going upstairs. Oh, there's another computer up here, isn't there? Yep, forgot about this one. Let's, let's stop him from getting on this one as well. No, sir. You can go back downstairs. And dance for now. But yeah, I forgot there was a computer upstairs. Ew, that toilet is nasty. I have to clean it up. Let me uh let me pause so I can stop controlling him. And go sit the computer upstairs so that it's only household as well. Computer settings. Lock computer for everybody but the household. Okay. All right, so he's changed the game. So now we're gonna play. He's gonna play cards. He can only play with three other people. So the guy is him, cause he constantly trying to get on the computer. So clearly he ain't interested in dancing. So him and let's do Romeo and, and let's do Cordell. They all can play games together. Girl, you are not going to bed. Um, now let me put them in uh, in action. Let me control them so I can stop them from dancing. Oh, excuse me. So, we're gonna stop him from dancing. Who else? Um, I said, um, him. He should be going over there to, to uh, oh, yeah him and one more person oh, what am I doing one more person that I asked to play my mind is like <laughs> focused okay 
Who was it? Him? No, it wasn't Will. Oh, oh, it was the other brother. Yeah, him. I think he's coming. Yeah, I think he's just going around back. Yeah. Okay, yeah. There they go. Girl, you are not going to bed, so you can stop that. Oh, but you are hungry, so how about you get, um, how about you just call everybody else in here to meal? Hopefully, you know, the people outside won't hear it. They'll keep playing their, their card game, but everybody else will hear it when they hear it, but they not coming because they not hungry. All right, everybody in here. Can't eat. Um, you all can stop dancing. Okay, she stopped. Okay, they stopped. All right, let's um, let's turn this off. Oh, there's no more pizza. Oh, well, well. <laughs> okay, ladies, how about we all watch a movie? So let's watch. Let's do Moonlight Massacre. Oh, there's one more guy left. Okay. So, ladies and Will. <laughs> okay. Because everybody else, yeah, the other three are outside <laughs> playing cards. So, they can watch a movie. What are you doing? No. Uh, let's play. Let's play. And. Uh, who? Oh, him. Play again. Where y'all going? <laughs> are y'all really trying to go in here and get some pizza? Cause there, there are no pizza. There's no more pizza left. Yeah, they was trying to go in here and get some pizza. There's no more pizza left, guys. So you'll have to come back and rejoin the card game. There's nothing left. And, and then, um, hmm, our party time is almost over. Well, yes, yeah, one o'clock in the morning, so that's fair. And I think that this was a pretty successful party, so. And I didn't like do a gold thing because I didn't really want it to be gold, just kind of wanted them to focus on having fun and socializing with their friends. You know, teenager stuff. I hate that they all stand in front of the TV to watch movies. Like, sit down. Thank you. Did you did you hear me on that? Sit down. Nobody stands in front of their TV to watch a movie. That doesn't make sense. Thank you. Like, you can sit on the floor right there. You don't have to stand up like that. Y'all are about to go home anyway. But this is pretty successful, I think. I, I like this whole house party thing. It was fun. And it was something just to kind of give the twins a sense of independence a little bit. You know, it was kind of like their, their, you know, their, their mom is away out of the country. Possibly she's probably going to stay there for <laughs> For the rest of her life in the um in the house that she grew up in and um jewel will inherit this house oh yeah let's talk a little bit about jasper so jasper of course i think i mentioned this before but he is going to be the heir and for him before you go to bed can you get in the shower i mean you just left them hanging which is cool uh, but yeah, I do want to talk a little bit about the plans that he has for his life. Um, so you can get in the shower and once you get in the shower, you can go to sleep. I did redo their rooms, y'all. I didn't even think about giving you a, a tour. <laughs> but let's do this now. Let's go into his room first. So I switched it up. What in the world is that? Uh, it must be the TV downstairs, I guess. Anyway, so he's really into music. So while I'm um while I'm in his room, let me just zoom out a little bit, so y'all can see. You know, he has a bunch of records and stuff on the wall, guitar stuff. You know, he wants to be a DJ, and so um 
I tried to have his room reflected as much as I could. He also has a mix station that he got for his birthday when he turned into a teen. Um, oh my gosh, I don't know where this music or whatever this is is coming from, but let me just back out for a second. And then this right here is just a guest room. Um, I'm going to have baby girl sleep downstairs in her mom's room. But this is just a guest room. So when her mom comes to, to stay over, to do her stayovers uh, once a month, she'll have somewhere to sleep. Put this in her inventory. She is going to sleep downstairs, though. So she'll sleep here. I need to assign this bed to her. So let me assign it to her. All right. Thanks for coming everyone. It was a fun time. We'll have more parties eventually But um, yeah, you gotta go you gotta go Let's go to actions You can't do on a oh That's why I forgot. I did start a gathering Let's end the gathering and then the rest of them will go home Bye see y'all later. Thanks for coming See ya we have fun. See y'all later. <laughs> they all leaving out. Yes, because it's way past time to go to sleep. I thought you was already in bed. What are you doing? Your bed is up, up here. You mean tell me you can't get in it? Because you'd be a lie. <laughs> you'd be a lie. Y'all can scoot over and everything. You can get in this bed. The end table is not in your way. Thank you. I don't know what your deal was. Oh, that music was coming from this speaker. That's your problem. I was like, what in the world? Yeah, the speaker was on. That's the problem. There we go. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> um, Let's talk about him. Sunday dinner. We'll do it, but I don't think we're going to invite anybody. What was that? It sounded like somebody died. Why are we... Who's calling us? Oh, no, Jacques. Jacques died. No, Jacques. Oh. I know, man. Jacques. Oh, no. I'm sad about that. Um, oh boy, you need some cooking skills. Like, uh, cause baby girl ain't finna be the only one cooking. Y'all do got leftovers in the fridge though, but you need some cooking skills. We're gonna get you some cooking skills. So, um, as I was saying, for, uh, for his generation, okay, it's titled Laugh Away the Pain. Let's be honest, you had a pretty good upbringing. Even though there were some rough patches, you know that your parent did the best they could to raise you alone. But deep down, being alone is the very thing you fear more than anything. So you cover it up with laughter, both the laughter which bubbles from inside you and that which you try to create in others. You marry young in a desperate attempt to fill the emptiness that drives you, only to find later that your spouse has chosen another. Eventually, you have to face the fact that your family and the laughter are enough to hold you up. Oh, did we mention you mix some crazy DJ tapes in your free time? So his traits have to be goofball, romantic, and active, which when he ages up, he'll get his final trait. Um, right now, he's a goofball and he's active, so he'll become romantic when he gets um, to be a, an adult. His aspiration is a joke star, so he wants to be a comedian. So we're going to work on that. Um, and like I said, that's also his career, entertainer, comedian branch. He also has to master DJ and comedy skills. He has to reach level five of fitness, but he can only jog to get fitness skill. He has to DJ at a club once per week, and he has to marry his first girlfriend as a young adult 
and then he has to turn a blind eye to his spouse's cheating but eventually he ends up divorcing the spouse and he never remarries so that is what's in store for him and i'm very very excited like to be moving on to the next generation it's always exciting to start the like a new generation um when we're doing these challenges okay y'all need all right so you slept you slept long enough so let's get up Ugh, clean this toilet then use it and then take a bath and brush your teeth and then you since your toilet isn't dirty i'm sure you can just get up oh who has the vacuum cleaner you can get up and oh your toilet is dirty let's look at these dirty toilets clean and take a shower because you do you stink oh no you don't stink okay and we'll get rid of some of these dishes and we also have to vacuum because these dust bunnies and this little pile of dust here is like feeling right at home these plates are starting to stink okay so she had an extra step so he should be able to get leftovers unless some things have spoiled and it looks like they have no 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 okay oh you know what it's gonna take him forever but he needs a cooking point so i'm gonna have him make a grand breakfast he needs that cooking their cooking skill point he needs that <laughs> And then when she gets out, I'll have her join. Join him cooking when she gets out the tub. All right, so he's already um, using the restroom. Then he can wash his hands. Gross prank. Oh, somebody pranked those little riffraffs. <laughs> somebody pranked our toilet. And it's still dirty. You didn't clean nothing. I asked you to clean it. No, we don't want to go to some sessions. We may in another episode, but not this one. Make it like a group event. Let me save really fast. Um. So, yeah. Oh, and when he gets to be an adult, because he doesn't want to take on the um the family money or whatever he wants to make his own money um he'll be moving to del sol valley to pursue his uh comedian career because he just feels like del sol valley is like the the place to go for stuff like that okay if y'all can talk that means that you can get in here and join him with cooking click on him and, and join join cooking dear both of y'all gonna learn how to cook today. <laughs> Cause both of y'all need cooking skill points. Why are you talking about crabs and cupcakes? He making a grand breakfast that don't involve none of that. Look at her. She's talking about all kinds of stuff. Girl, what you putting it in? Okay, good. He has the, the cooking skill. What about you, dear? Are you gonna get the cooking skill point too? Or is it just gonna be him? she's extra depressed because she's feeling sad um because of unfulfilled dreams but then her pet died so she's feeling real sad girl you'll be okay trust me no you're not eating french toast he not done cooking join like what did you join him for like two seconds look at him. bro we gonna we gonna get you set with your cooking skills we're gonna get you set with it. Okay. All right. So now he's going to call her to the grand meal. <laughs> this bell. Nobody does that, but it's it's okay. <laughs> Maybe they did it back in the day. Cause she's hungry too, right? Yeah. So then we'll put this in the fridge. And they will sit down and eat their first breakfast together without their mom. 
You know, they have this sense of grown upness. Oh, was somebody at our door? Who the heck is that? Somebody we don't know. We don't know him. <laughs> Answering the door for strangers. Yes. So I am very, very excited, like I said, to get this this gin started. Girl, we're gonna have to give you some pep talks or something in the um in the mirror. Let me check his fitness skill and see where he's at if he's gotten any fitness. Oh yeah, okay, he's level two. He has to get to level five. So this is like the easiest thing that we can work on right now. So I'm gonna have him go jog. Can she jog to clear her mind? Cause she, nah, I guess you can only do that when, oh yeah, you can, yes. Both of y'all go jogging together. Cause baby, you need, you need it there. <laughs> You just really in a bad mood. And then when y'all come back, and y'all can vacuum up this dust. Yeah, that's helping a lot. She needed that job. What you doing? Oh, okay, putting stuff in this thing. Let's go, let's go for this nice little job. I don't know if I'm going to get them a pet or not. I might wait until he moves and you're going to jog in the house. Oh, 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 okay. You have to go out through the back. All right. Sure. <laughs> I keep losing him. Anyway. Yeah. Um, I may wait until he... Every time I try to get the camera on him, he turns away from me. I might wait until he moves out before I get another pet, um, because it's a it's a big responsibility. One that I don't feel like dealing with right now. <laughs> it's too much like real life. So anyway, on that note, I am gonna leave this episode right here. So if you enjoyed the content that you saw in today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.